A recreational park in rural Madison County under development continues to draw attention from critics. The Sulphur Springs Recreation Area has a pretty hefty price tag and some wonder if it's going to be worth it at all. Our David Kinney is live in the newsroom with more on this, Dave. Yeah, Marsha, $2.2 million is the price tag right now on this recreational park located at the intersection of Sulphur Springs Road and Highway 17. That price tag now could be growing after a sandy bottom was discovered where they planned to build a lake. Sulphur Springs project engineers wanted to build a 16 acre lake here, but recently found nearly 500,000 cubic yards of sand stood in their way. The sand has been removed because it likely wouldn't hold the lake water. Now the cost of moving the sand off site could possibly inflate the project costs. Today we followed some of the trucks hauling sand to this property a couple of miles away. It's owned by Chalice Smith and his family. Smith quelled rumors that the county would have to pay to offload the sand on people's land. And are they paying you for that? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I ain't get a call. Smith says he's using the sand to fill in holes on his property. As a taxpayer, he feels the money could have been better spent elsewhere. You know, you could have took that money and helped the poor. I don't fish. Uh, I'm, I'm saying the people in the neighborhood do not fish. Fishing docks are already in place on the site. County supervisors say the majority of the project costs are in the lake build totaling $1.5 million. I spoke to several Madison County supervisors today, but they declined to go on camera. District 3 Supervisor Gerald Steen did tell me the project engineers have promised to report how far off budget they are within two weeks. Marsha.